Muzzle Training, Focusing on Calmness. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can teach your dog to accept wearing a muzzle. You never want to put a muzzle onto a dog without any training because not only can the dog panic and find it very punishing, but they can start to figure out that every time the muzzle goes on, usually something bad happens. So, by teaching the dog that something good happens when the muzzle comes on, then the dog starts to associate it with positive things and you can start to really make progress in your behavioral adjustment program if you're trying to train your dog to be comfortable in the situations that your dog is most likely going to have to wear the muzzle. So, some people will condition the muzzle like a trick, but I prefer to condition calmness along with the muzzle wearing. So, there are two exercises you can work on before you start training this muzzle technique. One is teaching your dog to settle and relax around food, because if your dog is very overexcited about food already, you can't condition calmness with a muzzle using food. So I have a video called Capturing Calmness, which teaches you how to teach a dog how to do a calm settle around food. And the other exercise that um, you need to learn is the chin rest. So check out my tutorial on chin rests. And that's basically teaching your dog to calmly put their chin in your hand, not as a trick, but as a calm behavior. Good job. Also, you'll see that I'm not using a clicker, because with Splash and my other dogs, I use clickers for high activity behaviors like canine freestyle or fast behaviors like agility, where I want the dog to be very excited. But when you're working on something like this, you want to condition your dog to be as calm as possible. I'm using my dog Splash in this video because she used to be a highly reactive dog to both dogs and people after being attacked by a dog as a puppy. Although I never used a muzzle with her because I used management and prevention, a key to her success was building a calm foundation. This session is her second session of introducing a muzzle. Before starting conditioning the muzzle, warm up with the chin rest exercise. Let's do the chin rest. Chin. Good job. So, you'll see in the chin rest tutorial that the chin behavior also has eye contact incorporated with it. Good job. And this is very helpful to stop the dog staring at the treats. Because if your dog is staring at the treats also when you have the muzzle on, what are you teaching your dog when you say yes or click? You're teaching them to be excited about staring at food. So now we have the chin rest going. I can start to incorporate the muzzles. Now there's many different types of muzzle, but um, this is an Italian basket muzzle and they're not very comfortable, but they are safe. So if you, have, um, if you don't have access to the internet and you can't get one of these muzzles, um, maybe you can find one of these in your local pet store. However, this Baskerville Ultra muzzle um, is very, very comfortable and also very safe and the dog can pant and drink water and it's easily it's easy to give the dog treats through the muzzle and for the dog to eat treats off the ground where this muzzle these types of muzzles the dogs it's very hard to give treats and frustrating to give treats as well as they can't eat them off the ground but they can drink and pant so there's a great place where you can get one of these muzzles in america um, ahimsa dog training i'll put a link to their website where you can buy these muzzles all right are you ready splash so, while your dog is calmly settled, you can present the muzzle with the same chin cue. Ready? Chin. Good girl. And you can feed the dog through the muzzle, or you can remove the muzzle and feed the dog. You want to be calm with your treat deliveries as well, because this is a calm behavior. And Splash does get very excited about treats, because we also do high-level activities as well, like jumping and spinning and jumping off of me and playing frisbee for treats. Are you ready? Chin. Good girl. Yes. So you've said your cute chin as you present the muzzle, but now, after the dog's offered it quite a few times, just present the muzzle and see if your dog will put their chin into the muzzle. Like splash. Good girl. She hasn't worn this muzzle before, and I've only conditioned this one on one lesson, so uh, 
she's still a little confused on how to get the treats inside the muzzle and that's another behavior that you have to work on just practice feeding your dog through the muzzle because it can be a little frustrating I mean imagine putting on a mask as you're eating dinner it's just weird make sure to do as many training sessions as your dog needs all dogs learn at different speeds Never put the muzzle onto the dog during training sessions. You want your dog to put his nose into the muzzle himself. So now you can practice having the muzzle on for longer and longer periods of time. Good job. And remember to mark for eye contact. Yes, good job. Well done. Good girl. Yes. Well done. All right, so this is one aspect of wearing a muzzle, and the other, other aspect is that it ties behind the dog's head like a collar. Yes. So you want to work on them separately before you add them together. Begin by attaching and removing your dog's own collar as the game, if your dog seems worried about the muzzle. Splashers. Hello. I'm just going to put this around her neck, say yes, and then present her with a treat. Good job. Ready? Yes. Well done. I can also practice buckling it up myself so that I don't fumble around behind her head on the first trial. Yes. Good job. Now, as I was talking in my chin rest video, whenever you're staring right at your dog while you're leaning over them and doing things with your dog, you always want to offer your dog calming signals so that they do not think you're intimidating them or that you stress them because direct eye contact can be very stressful for a dog, even if you've worked on it. So you want to blink and lick your lips and look to the side and yawn. Oh. And you might see that your dog offers you calming signals back. So a good sign that your dog is relaxed is that your dog is blinking throughout the exercise rather than staring at you and with a stiff body. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put the buckle on. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Yes. Well done. You're so clever. All right. So, I would work on these for a couple of training sessions before moving on to the next step of putting them both together. The next step is presenting the muzzle to the dog and also attaching it behind the ears. Are you ready? Good job. Well done, Splashers. So, yes, good job. At first, you want to make sure that you don't attach it as tight as you would um, for the use of the muzzle. You want it a little loose so that the dog can get used to it and not panic that there's a, a tight strap around the back of their head. Usually, if the muzzle fits properly, the dog should, you should be able to fit a cup, one or two fingers under the muzzle, uh, under the neck part of the muzzle. Um, if you have very small fingers, obviously, two fingers. Um, but this is much looser than that. Um, what you don't want is for the dog to be able to slip the strap over the back of their head and take the muzzle off, <laughs> or paw it with their nose, paw it off their nose with their paw, um, like that. If this were to go over the nose, a dog could easily, if they're about to bite, paw it off and bite. So you don't want that. Good job. Also, you can see uh, when she goes forwards for the treat, you want to be careful that you're not whacking the, the muzzle into the area in front of the eyes. It doesn't hit the eyes, but it's not very nice experience, so be careful when you're doing that, when you're feeding the treats through the muzzle. Another thing is you can teach the dog to eat the treats off the ground through the muzzle. 
Good job. This part of the muzzle at the front, you don't want it touching your dog's nose. So sh there should be at least a centimeter between this area and your dog's nose. If it's touching your dog's nose, that's going to be highly stressful and also painful for your dog. Okay, so make sure that it's not doing that. Because I want the muzzle to have a calming effect on the dog, I'm also going to add calm handling, which also you need to condition before you start petting your dog in a muzzle. Because if your dog doesn't like handling, the handling will stress the dog in the same way wearing the muzzle will stress the dog. You're doing very good. So, watch my video on calm handling. Are you ready? Good girl. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Awesome. As you can see, Splash was very calm with this first putting on of the muzzle. Yes, she's had a lot of training, and I've worked a lot on calmness training with her, because she used to be reactive. As you can see, Splash is very calm during this exercise, where if we were doing a dance routine, she would be pretty excited. So if I had used the clicker and the treats and made this into more of a fun game, there is also the possibility that once the muzzle comes out, you already have a conditioned state of arousal of, oh boy, time to work, oh yes, which a lot of working dogs can get into. So then it's very hard to work on calmness when you've already overexcited the dog. So, yeah, thank you, Splash, you did a good job. And now you're gonna go to sleep.